Greetings everyone, I am Fagos Amahoshi Gaoka for the forthcoming of the Void Star. Welcome back to this channel. For those who just jumped in, this is a channel that is open to all kinds of left hand path initiates or those who feel more attracted to the dark path. And what I am standing for is the practical implementation of knowledge and experiences in order to get ahead in life on your own individual path. So this is what this channel is about. What I would like to take up today is a topic we have left off several months ago, and that was about the predator. There were some questions emerging from the public, and these were like, all right, we know how to recognize it now, and we know how they think now, but how do I implement certain aspects of the predator in my own daily life to begin with? And that's a really good question because often the know-how is offered, but only theoretically. And how to implement it in your daily life effectively, that's another thing. And it's far more difficult because we can learn a lot from books, but nothing beats experience. It's just like that. Nothing beats experience. You know what it is like. You have lively gone through it. And with that wisdom, you can move ahead in life. And it's because you experience it, it sinks really deep down in, into yourself, so it's anchored. So, what can we do in order to get in touch with these predatory energies more and more? Because that's the question. The first thing I would like to address is that I give out guidelines. These are practical kind of advices I give to people. I don't say that they have to follow it, but what I'm trying to do is to offer a platform people can work from, just to start with, to be a little bit more wayward into the process. And then what actually should happen is that they create their own system and move forward in their own unique ways. This is actually what the left hand path is about. So what can we do to start synchronizing ourselves with these predatory energies? First of all, and I really would like to stress this, because people fail to see the significance of that. It, they think it's not that important. Well, it is important. And that is that you have to mind the people who are in your vicinity. Who are they? What are they doing? How do they spend their daily life? Can you take them seriously? Can you rely on them? Or are there these kind of people who create drama about everything in a tiny bit more in order to get themselves entertained because they have nothing better to do. So people fail to see the significance in that, whether it's with family, with colleagues, with friends. If they don't support you, support the best people or the best things you have to offer the world. And they don't put something forward which could help you and they are creating drama or do nothing useful with their life or are actually regarding themselves as something what i let me say this a few months back i got contacted with someone contacted by someone over the internet and this person had an incredible story like whole his life came to the foreground in technicolor and ultrasound and then he suddenly said well don't mind this internet not when i read this i think so this is how you regard yourself toward me you actually belittle yourself so i didn't even answer because i was like how can you belittle yourself like this? You're not taking yourself seriously and you actually put out that message out in the world. Don't. This is one of the reasons why I'm like, okay, you know, if you are going into that road, I'm not even going to respond because you're a waste of my time. If you cannot even take yourself seriously, then you're a waste of my time. And maybe it sounds harsh, but you actually put a label on yourself and that is something what i really would like to urge people to understand take yourself seriously 
And I will explain later why this is. I think you have to find the people who can think for themselves. People who cannot think for themselves, they just copy an opinion. And we all do to some extent, so don't get me wrong. But they do copy an opinion, something they heard flat out and they blurt it forward. And before they know it, and you know it, you are into the mess knee deep because they brought you there. So this is very important to realize. Mind the people in your vicinity. Who are you dealing with? Because they can make and break you. That is very important. Also, what is important if you are on a predatory path is that you find your own lion pack. Some call it a wolf pack. I call it a lion pack. But you need people who have the bravery to venture into new adventures, into new ideas, who are presenting new ideas who think forward, who are not in an emotional, inert state. So this is one of the guidelines of the predator. A predator always adapts. So it always is inventive to seek out new ways in order to make things better for themselves. So this is what you can do. Find the right people. Another very important aspect I have taught myself is to never put off tasks. The reason why I say this is one, there is this condition going on. We all face, and that is the moment when your mental momentum clashes with your emotional inertia. We all have this. It's normal. It's a pattern. When you go through life and you note it down in your diary, you learn to recognize them and to, you know, you can tackle them in a way of speaking. But it is very important that it is recognized that whether you feel like it or not, you are going to do the task you set out to do. If you don't, you teach yourself not to take yourself seriously. Plus, it's an energy leak. It definitely is because subconsciously, you realize that you still have to do that task, but you try to procrastinate, put it off. Ah, I don't feel like it. And on the end, you have lost way more energy on procrastinating than actually on getting the task done. Plus through life, we have moments that we feel really motivated. And then things are easy. We go to the gym with full motivation. I'm going to burn off that fat belly. Just for instance. But a couple of months later, Without them, we realize that we sank away in that activity and we suddenly snap and we think like, oh, I did not do what I set out to do. When we are, and that's definitely something predatory, on a path wherein we want to attain something, especially for self-change, because believe me, if you are on this path of the predator, you are going to change. You are going to transform and it will never be always pleasant. You have to go through a lot of entropy for it, but the fruits are rewarding because at the end you will have what you set out to do. So there is this word, I will and no. No to the burden society puts on you. Like I said, the initial energy you have gained from refraining from dramatic people, you can use it to initiate yourself to get this task done and to reject the burdens society puts on you because everyone has an opinion on what you do. Everyone wants to interfere and they interfere more with you than with their own lives. So the word no and I will is very, very important. I will because you will then teach yourself to take yourself seriously and do the things you need to do and no to reject those things that don't feel good to you. It is very important, especially when it comes to people, that you intuit your way through life and seek out your own people with whom you can build. For my part, Rome, I don't know, but that's very important. Another thing what comes to that, to the predatory path, is some, some people think like when you are an apex predator that you stand above on the food chain and everything is easy. It's not. In a position of a predator, we have our own problems. 
The prey always have to swivel its head and look on and around to see if there is a predator lying there somewhere in the bushes. But we actually have other problems. And that is that when we stand out, a lot of people are going to hate you. A lot of people will try to work against you, even behind your back without your knowledge. And you don't know where that adversity is coming from. And you stand for surprises. You bet that it won't be easy. So what I would like to say on that, make less noise. I see a lot of people boasting about the things they are going to do. And before they know it, because they just, you know, they just uttered something and someone took that idea from them and they walk away with this idea and get rich and that's what happened with <laughs> with yeah a lot of people you know piggybacking that's uh piggybacking that's a word so uh a lot of people walk away with your ideas when you don't keep your mouth shut so this is very important the less you say the less people can ruin your life and your plans for you i cannot stress this enough so these are the guidelines I would like to give to you to start with. When you are on the path and you get adjusted to these energies and you become more transformative and more powerful, you will also expect that you have much more against you, but you have to, it's like the Sith code. <laughs> you have to overcome this adversity and obstacles in order to get stronger. And that is how it works. So if you have any questions, then please drop them down below, below the video in the comment section. You can also reach me over Facebook. I have a page called Darth Fagos, so you can go there if you have any more personal questions that would be a good medium to do so. And I thank you for watching. Have a great evening.